Came back chilling, another day, another day in the oil field, you know. Black top as usual. Black top into the shop to see my mechanic, my main man, the mechanic, boy. Like every week we had the mechanic right here today, right? God damn. Watching other YouTubers tell you go to dealership and pay all this goddamn. Okay, well then come follow me then. Follow me then. Follow me then. Been working so hard, the truck ain't even clean in this motherfucker. Special trip here. Yeah, I'm live. Right. They've been looking for you. Man, they good people. The African mother might even have. Take you back over here. There's a truck with him. This one is brakes. Brakes? Yeah, my brakes. No play. No play, no play. Yeah, no play. Yeah, I got 
That's a Video man, we got real world, real huh? world. Push your brakes. Push your brakes. Yeah. So I'm going to show you my cab. My cab is going to start right now. Oh, you good? You good? about keeping the owner operators in business in order to stay in business you must have your own mechanic <laughs> shout out to ht3434 for letting us know we need our own mechanic that's exactly what i got right here if you want to stay in business and if you want to stay out of business you go to the dealership you know what i'm saying rack up a bill about five thousand see how that work out for you See, brand new AC condenser.
fault when I come at y'all, I come at y'all live so y'all can see how it's going for real. We don't do no pretending. We're not pretending like we found a mechanic. We actually found one. Oh, we got an African mother in the house. Right behind me. He said he wants to stay in business. Y'all been looking for him. He just, he just got back from Africa. Just got back from uh, Africa. And uh, he said he's trying to stay in business. I said, come on, come find me now. Come find me. I keep you in business for the low. What is that? What, what was the problem? What was the problem? Back. All right, so we said he got two uh two brake chambers is out. This is that. Both his chambers out. He thought it was his brakes, but as you can see, he got good brakes. Definitely not his brakes at all. So it's just back here. It ain't up there. Yeah, you have to just price them. Maybe change one at a time. Oh wait. Well, it's still stop with a trailer, you don't know, with a load. It's not breaking too good, man. It's not breaking too good. What if he just fits one? What if he just fits one? Would they give you enough stopping power there? I'll ask it. Let me ask it. All right, all right. Yeah, that's how we do it. What I do is, uh, every week or every other week, mm -hmm. I just slowly replace my truck in parts. So everything in the back is brand new. From the tires to the to the airbags, everything. It's all new. Like oh, you got new shots. Well they come out already on there. Yeah, then I, uh, I think the key one is the key one. I think new year is You've been changing the oil, right? No, I haven't seen the oil in a while. That's all right, just, just oh shit. Just uh, drain the oil in your rear ends. It's cheap. Yeah, yeah I mean I can do it myself. Yeah, yeah. Just uh unplug that. I don't know where you are, I guess. You ain't got no drain hole? Yeah, drain at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. You just gotta know uh, what, uh, what oil to put in there, what uh, gear or ratio to put in there. Looks like he's good. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, he gets, I mean, he's the first person to tell him to break. Man, look at that, man. When you're with me, I keep people in business, not out of business. If you want to stay out of business. You got big mouth. Look, man, if you want to stay you out of business, it's other YouTubers that's going to show you how to stay out of business, man. I'm telling you. You go to the dealership. You you, you can take this to Freightliner and see, see what's going to happen. Don't even, don't tell Freightliner. Just tell Freightliner your brakes ain't working and see what type of beer you walk away with. I guess put this on last night. I didn't put it on good. Carry it to oh, the man. Yeah. You got three boats here. What, two? Yeah, I need to cut. I need to cut. I need to cut this out and push it on that side. Shoot, this holding. They're gonna work on that, I guess. We get fuel tomorrow. Got the orientation. How much fuel you got? How much fuel you got? Enough to circle this city? I, I, I got I like maybe 20 bucks. Your fuel light on? No, not yet. Oh, well, then you should be all right. He told me no. So, so what is he gonna change? This? Yeah, yeah, it's leaking right here. See, see right here? My AC condenser, right here. Yeah, okay, I got a lab in the rig. Now coming in, just pulled up to my mechanic now. I like to show y'all the drive because I don't I don't call my mechanic. I don't I don't have his number. He don't really speak English like that, but I want y'all to show y'all how I just drive up to the scene, both of us, and we just instantly stay and start working. You know, we don't we don't wait in line, we don't uh, sit around with a hotel bill, or we we we're not in line at the dealership. Now we do gotta wait in line at the dealership to get parts. See? That's my AC condenser, but when I show up to the scene. Work gets done. Okay. Work gets done. Now you gotta have cash, so you gotta have cash. You can't rob low, it's not gonna we don't got no rob low. You gotta have cash. It's important, huh? Now I know it sounds like I'm offending a lot of y'all, but I'm trying to tell you the key is to find your own mechanic. If you wanna stay in business. Don't matter if you got a lease truck, a paid off truck, or a finance truck, you get your own mechanic with a goddamn lease truck, and your damn shop bill gonna drop through the roof. 
But you gotta find the right mechanic now. Like I said, man, my, my particular problem, uh, of course we got a brand new AC compressor when the when we first got the truck. But uh, my problem is my, my AC work, but uh when it's idling, I get cold out. But um as I start to drive and the RPMs go up, it starts to blow out warm air. So uh who told me it was oh yeah, TA, TA. I went to TA, that's right. And they told me it hit a hole in it. So came here, you know, got the part. Boom, show up at the part, get it changed, fresh cold air, we out. Yep, 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 yep. We just got the truck grease yesterday. Yeah, let's see. Just got fresh grease, fresh grease. Fresh grease all over the truck. Brand new filters. You know, brand new oil change. No leaks on the 15,000. They got to be looking for them oil leaks. See this? See this? See this? It's all good. It's all good. I know it's say Mercedes Benz. Y'all to be wondering. Right there. Detroit Diesel. 2006. Always remember the price of the truck is not determined if the damn truck is gonna work or not. The price of the truck ain't got nothing to do with if you're gonna make money or not. What, what, what matters is what condition is the engine in? Okay, so like if I was buying this truck, right? Shut up. Let me flip the camera. He just do this fast and he's good. Huh? He's fast. He's he's fast. Good. What? He's what else we believe in people? Huh? Yeah, he fast, ain't he? Pull up to the scene, and get work done. Huh. Yeah, man, shit. That's how we do it. Now, if I was buying this truck, right? Let's say I was at the auction. I start up the engine, and I know the smoke coming out the blow by tube. Got white smoke coming out the exhaust. I'm probably gonna walk away. I see oil and shit dripping all over the place. Or if I see the frame is freshly painted black, I'm, I'm gonna walk away. I'm gonna walk away. Let's see. Testing out his brakes, y'all. He didn't have no brakes. My mechanic just fixed his brakes.
going to check the test, yeah? yeah. How about this? I don't know why I think you picked it. But let me think this with your stuff first. Doing what he's doing. Getting his uh, batteries looked at. Apparently, when he uh, when he's driving, the, the cable is loose and it's turning the truck off while he's driving. So uh, they're gonna look at that right quick. See if I got some questions. Sound like he's out of DEF. Uh, we don't have DEF on our trucks. We don't. We don't play the DEF game. Yeah. We don't, we don't, no DEF for us. Who are you rolling with now? Oh, y'all want to know who I'm rolling with? I got your, got your cover right here. See that right there? There he is, right there. Nice and fresh on the door. Get your question answered. Checking in from Memphis, Tennessee. Is that right? Have you heard of any of a company called Sting and Oil Free? Yeah, I heard of them. They're up in West Texas. Uh, not sure if they're good or not. But, uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about, though. Flat top looking good. Yeah, man, got a bath like two days ago. Dealership though. I was never gonna go to the dealership. Oh, okay, you don't go to the dealership? Hell no. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, a lot of people I know be at the dealership. Maybe they sold what gave you some brand new parts. You would need a hotel bill and everything. The only thing I mean, I need a new um... mirror. Oh, yeah, it's ours. Yeah, he do that too, but you gotta get the uh, top piece. I get the bolter. Matter of fact, it's a. Uh... Use place around? No, I think junkyard right here. Okay. I wonder. I think it's like the next place over. You gotta ask. Her. Dang, it engine looks good, man. Of course it looks good, man. Yeah. I just got an engine wash too, man. I see why. That's why, <laughs> that's why this sucker looks good. Yeah, I got an engine wash two days ago. Or last night, shit. I don't remember. Not bad, sir. Oh, are you guys? Yeah. Oh, shit. You gotta take everything off? You gotta move everything. <laughs> look, look, I like this guy already, but he's he's fast. 
I like you. He's fast. You, he's, he's really, really fast. I thought you, I know. He's fast, man. <laughs> Look. How many batteries? Two? Uh, how many what? Three. Three. Let's do this fast. Look look at my baby. What's all this? The MP8? The what? MP8? Mac engine? No, no, yeah, yeah. Mac engine. Oh, you got a front air suspension. So yeah. How does that work on, on yours? What do you mean? How does it work? I don't know. I feel the bumps in the back, but not in the front. You know what I'm saying? I, when, I, I, I feel I feel the bumps in the back, you know, but like the front is cool. I thought about getting the front ass suspicion. Mm. This dude is cool, man. Someone asked me his address, man. Yeah, I know I need I'm, I'm exhaust. They asked me that all the time. This is what's gonna happen. West Texas. Huh? West Texas. What? What's in West Texas? Oh, no, they, no, they know I'm in South Texas. It's just, this is what's gonna happen. 30 people. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, hold on, hold on. Send my truck out, y'all. <laughs> yeah, my bad, y'all. Yeah, I'm back. How do I flip the camera? Yeah, I was telling an African mama. Somebody, hey, this dude is in love with this engine. You in oh, love with it? the engine, man? That looks good. Oh, well, you know, I was going to sell it for a 379 Pete, you know, a W900. I was going to buy it all cash, though. Nah, you know? nah, you ain't got no problem right now. Nah, well, of course not, but I sell this thing probably like 20, 25. Did you paint this? No, nah, no, nah, I didn't paint nothing. It's original, right? Yeah, it's all original. Damn, is that rusty? Well, it's sweet maintained. That's why That's why, That's why. why the price of the track don't matter. Sweet maintained. Okay, whenever you have like an air um, in your fuel, this is what you pump. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. The bleed it there, I think. Got a mechanical clutch on it. Don't need to replace it. It's mechanical. No hydraulic fluid, none of that shit. Yeah, this thing start right up and take the fuck off. This is almost new, man. Mm -hmm. It looks good. Ain't here not one engine problem since 2007. Lucky you, man. I don't know if it had anything prior to 2007 because the maintenance records I got started in 2007. And now, Turbo is only a year old, so. The turbo and the air to air, they both a year old. See, I always go live when I'm at the mechanic shop. Because people, people always think that when you got an older truck, mm -hmm. that we don't show us being broke down. Mm -hmm. But in reality, we not broke down. You know. So I like to go live and then show them what it's actually like. Because if they don't know, you know, they end up getting a used truck. Have you changed your water pump yet? Nah, I haven't changed my water pump. Just the uh, AC compressor. I probably just do the uh, alternator, the yeah, alternator it's still drill, right? Yeah, it's still drill, but I like new parts. Man. It's cheap, man. It's one hundred and twenty dollars. Gonna spend some money. One hundred and twenty dollars. <laughs> you know, start to go out and it's gonna run, you know, twelve hundred dollars. <laughs> Goddamn Tobia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just got the engine wash. Yeah, I just got the engine wash. You know, me and Justin Lewis. Y'all missed that live feed, man. I had to take it down. You know, because the suit and tie guys be watching. I had to take it down. You know what I need to go on and do? I need to go and start peeling this shit off before they call the cops on me. That's what I think I'm going to go ahead and do. Peel this shit off. Put it on and call the cops on me.
that sucker and put it back on. You talking about yours fell off? Yeah, it's the other side when it's tire blue. blue oh, the tire blew it off. Yeah. See this right here, man. I hit a I hit a goddamn yellow pole, man. I was at uh one of them loading facilities. You know how you pull onto the scale. Yeah. But they had the poles so damn close. Man, I smacked the goddamn pole. I, I could have went in there and kicked everybody's ass. Got me in the fuel gauge too, that's brand new. The fuel gauge. Me and Dominique changed it out in the damn park a lot. I think that was probably like seventy dollars for that part. What for it? A fuel gauge. No, sorry, read right. Okay. Yeah, it's nice and cheap. Just need two people to do it. Mm. Unless you unless you unplug the batteries. Somebody said they need a video update. I know. Oh, you doing it? No, not yet. Oh, that's it. LS exhaust tip. We can't get a location of a mechanic, guys. Oh, yeah. Hold on. How do I flip the damn camera? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, much better. So, yeah, we don't give the location of the mechanic or where we work. The reason for it is, is because I told y'all how to find a mechanic and how to find a job in the oil field, okay? So, you gotta find your own mechanic. This ain't the only mechanic in America. Matter of fact, I got two mechanics. I got another mechanic right around the corner that we just found last week when Justin Blue was injected, so. You got to do your own research, find your own mechanic, you know. Yeah, put you on the charge, yeah, for the guy. Looks like Andrew is running for 1845. He still got 1845 logo on, um, on his damn truck, man. Yeah, that's right, man. 1845. That's where we run at. With this, <laughs> this is a DLT number. If anybody looking for a job, this is a DLT number right here. I'll be asking at least two. Those make me laugh, man. <laughs> they, got, they always ask me, man. Like, they, right there. That's where I run from. But anyway,